I made a website called Nature is the Answer, N-I-T-A dot O-N-E, and this is a website that if you're not familiar with, it is to share the ideas of nature, in particular natural law and statism, understanding freedom, self-governance, regeneration, all as it says on this website. Now, the main reason why I create this website, other than to share that education with the world, is to bring more people together around that message. I found it unifying to have such a thing as knowing, knowing nature, understanding it, applying it in our lives, and realizing how essential it is. And of course, a lot of my works talk about this, although my works are not on the website. I intended to create this website with everybody at mind and for everybody to use for as their own website, as their own movement. And that's why I commonly say you are the movement. You see there is a share button, a logo button, a learn button, an action button. I've talked about this before and I've made different revisions to the site to make it more easy accessible, but I made this site very simple on purpose to simply share the ideas. This is not like one of those movements where you have to sign up and give your information here or there and send in donations or what have you. There's nothing involved with that. In fact, it's totally open to do whatever you want it to do. And I intend for it to grow over time, even past my own time, because the message as mission is nature is the answer. That's the main goal, the intentions behind why this movement was created. I even do have a disclaimers page. I have many back pages, including the summit, the end of slavery summit. So there's a lot of information in general about this website that I created. A lot of people might visit it expecting it to be my content, but it isn't because I'm here to simply say, this is the best stuff that I want everybody to know and everybody to share. So that's why I encourage people use the symbolism and the website across their own works, putting it in the description, putting it in the titles, putting it in the videos, what have you, on their blogs, as an advertisement, whatever, just to share the knowledge, have a medium to do so because people care about nature. So if they care about nature, they care about themselves, then why wouldn't they care about the thing that affects them the most? Their nature, their humanity, it's being affected by this belief in authority, this superstition, this tyrannical mindset that caused all amount of suffering all throughout history. And here are books that most people are unaware of and information that most people have never even thought about. And so it's powerful, it can change people's lives. I could have information about natural health or uh, environmentalism, right? Some people might think about when it comes to nature, but this really hits at the crux and the, and the, the pinnacle of all of it, because really when you're looking at natural law, which is the law of everything, or you're looking at this belief system, which everybody has, people think that change happens through a certain medium, government, through law, through change, permission uh, by certain people, and that we can't be the change. They think that our nature is in incomplete without government, without man-made systems as such that are so grand and necessary for order. If you had to pick anything that was replacing or toppling nature, it would have to be this very topic of statism and government. But not a lot of people who talk about nature will talk about government as such because it has nothing to do with nature. Of course not. But yet it's very important because if people were to say what's destroying it the most, it's not necessarily the environment or health. It's actually people's own belief system of not caring about their world or about themselves and giving it up to other people, saying these people are the authority figures. These people know better than me. These people must regulate everything in the health industry, regulate everything in the environmental industry. And then you know what happens? things get worse. And that is interesting because people don't understand why it gets worse. And it's actually because of this belief system. So that's why it's important to share this knowledge and why it's in different formats. You may not support natural law. You may not support, you know, the anti-status political side of it either. You might like natural law rather than the political side because it's more spiritual, or you might not like the spiritual side. You might like more of the political down to earth side. You might read a book instead of watch a video. You might listen to a video rather than watch it. You might read this kid's book and learn a whole bunch of wisdom from it and the occult and, and these written texts hundreds of years ago by abolitionists. You might be inspired by the abolitionist. 
you know, you might come from so many different backgrounds. The point is, is that it all leads one way or another to understanding more about ourselves and our world, which is understanding our nature. So when I say nature is the answer, to make it very definitively clear, I'm talking about the knowledge of nature. I'm talking about you being a part of nature, understanding that you have to align to it through your actions, through your mentality. And that requires understanding that the whole aggregate of nature is your government. It is the society. Everybody's connected within it. Everybody, you know, is 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 your fellow countrymen. There is no one select country or banner or flag or allegiance or whatever you know even with this movement if there was to be any movement that was to represent everything in every movement it would have to be nature itself so i don't want you to identify with a flag i don't want you to identify with a movement or an identity i want you to use this as a resource to lead people to the information symbols are powerful to do that that's why i created my own you know, it's not like, oh, it's scary eye symbolism and Freemasonry and no, like where it requires you to understand it and there's other people who have used it for good or for bad. No, I made this myself purely in, you know, innocent intentions. It just represents a tree, an hourglass, a, you know, a, a human body, whatever you want to look at it, a sun, you know, water, sky, <laughs> earth. I mean, really simple. The NITA forms the logo. So it's just an idea brought together into a symbol, which you can do anything with, with a white background, which you can turn to a different color. It doesn't really matter. You can have the same site with a totally different logo if you choose. The point is, is that the knowledge is spreading and you'll see that the summit is linked, the newspaper is linked, that next project, the Liberator 2. You'll see that there's an action tab where it talks about the different ideas and why movement is in quotes. The reason why I don't follow movements myself. The reason why movements can be problematic. I've seen many movements out there, but not a lot of them really consider the fact of, well, can we bring it to everybody? Does this apply worldwide? Can this apply through the generations? Does this really apply to every topic out there? Is it trying to create an identity or is it trying to educate people? Is it trying to say, hey, this is your movement. You can do what you want with it. You could do literally anything because this is what I created. Now, you might have some criticisms. I'd be really open, really open to see what you have to say about this. Um, but I made this site and I just wanted to make it very clear what it's about. It is just about nature. There really isn't much more to say about it, which is why it was so simply made. It wasn't supposed to be complex. Nature and its truths are not supposed to be complex. It's about simply understanding more as to realizing we don't know everything and there is always more to understand. And when you, when people watch the natural law seminar by Mark Passio, they, their eyes open to everything. When people look into the fact that they had a belief system all their life, and you know it contradicted everything else that they they they, they realize this this belief system is in contradiction to themselves and, and what they they think themselves and how they act on a day-to-day -day basis i mean it, it starts to just open up every single portal every single reality for them and that's the point it's not that you want to change one thing or the symptoms of society but rather open up to everything and see all that was hidden from you see all that is necessary for your evolving, which is attaining new knowledge. That's the whole point. It's not to say this is the only knowledge. It's not to say this is the knowledge of nature. This is what you have to know. It's all about evolving cons constantly and consistently, and you can choose what to do with this. Absolutely. So I encourage that you check out the website, nita.one, N-I-T-A dot O-N-E, and you share it. You can say it's Unite, the Unite movement, uh, Nita, you can say it's NITA, you can say it's Unit E as well. AE stands for Laws of Nature, actually. And you can say it's the message is the mission, nature is the answer. You can just say it outright. People will look it up, they'll get it the first result. Rather than saying NITA, I mean, I'd rather people say it out front. Nature is the answer, because that's, that is what it represents. I say it's also the official abolitionism website, because it's true. Um, abolitionism stands for abolishing that which doesn't belong, and, you know, whether it's a law, custom, institution, and was used to end slavery. They used the means of saying, hey, this is not natural for us. This is not right for us. You know, this is not right for the humankind, and therefore we must abolish it. 
Uh, and so the same thing nowadays when we realize, wait, we're holding ourselves back from our true, greater, natural potential that we can truly attain if we follow it through, if we continue our evolution. Okay, and you'll see there's a disclaimers tab, okay? Extra insight of intentions. The movement does not seek profit, created and maintained by people themselves. Unity meant to create question, bring truth to action. Call for truth, we are messengers, not to be pushed on anyone. See, generally encouraged that we do not protest. Change only occurs from changing ourselves, our minds, okay? As a human, I have thoughts of my own, okay? So not everybody's to agree with me, nothing to do with me, not for any agenda, all right? And of course, like I said, there's other links to this site, but that's the main premises. I want people to share it. This is your movement, and so use it to your benefit. That's why I created this website. Other websites, other projects, yes, that I will take full responsibility of myself, but this exists for you and for the world and for the generations to come. If you understand the message, you see the importance in it, you see that there's really, really powerful knowledge, like in particular, the documentary that I created with all the great videos, the most important freedom videos, and the natural law presentation, which has so much concepts all in one as a huge package, you know, the most, super da da the most dangerous superstition book, the end of all evil, I mean, these just have everything in it. And that's why they're powerful. And if you have other other recommended resources, you can share them with me. And you know, you could have your own website. But let's link to each other's websites. Let's share each other's websites. In particular, this one, because this one was intended to be shared. Thank you very much for watching. This is Corey Angelot. Nature is the answer.